Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Nittany Draws. I'm Nittany, and today I'm coming at you with the Redraw Old Art Challenge. Um, up there in the corner there, you're going to see the drawing that I'm planning on redrawing here. Um, originally, I had planned on making this a Christmas drawing, but I realized that I had been saying I was going to do the Redraw Challenge for a long time. And so I decided I would do the redraw challenge and then tomorrow night when I get home from work I will be able to do the Christmas hashtag event drawing probably um, but that's why there's snowflakes in the background on this instead of the flames but I like the snowflakes better the purple flames were kind of I, I remember throwing them in last minute when I drew this anyway because my art teacher used to yell at me about blank space so I don't think I had intended it to have any background at all. And so anyway, um, so instead I am going to re-record my thankfulness stuff. This is the first video that I'm doing since being home from vacation. And I was away at my mom's house for a few days. And then I had like uploaded a bunch of videos ahead of time. That way I could take a little bit of time off and spend some time with my hubby and play some video games and be lazy and lame. So I've spent the last week or so working on Kingdoms of Amalur and not really being an adult. So today I had to suck it up and actually come to work. So this is the first drawing I'm doing back and I lost the entire recording for my thankful for art video but I did all that back work of like writing down all my thankfulness stuff and we talked about it at family Thanksgiving and stuff. So I wanted to share it with you guys, even though the timing is a little bit wonky. Um, I figured I could talk about it in the voiceover, even though the actual drawing doesn't really portray it very much. So I did one thing that I'm thankful for, for every day of the month. And here's my list. Number one, to have a thankful and supporting and understanding husband. Number two, to have a family who loves me unconditionally. Number three, I am thankful to have learned to pick my battles. Number four, I am thankful to have a home which I can afford and keeps me warm. Number five, I am thankful to have a job which is flexible and pays enough for me to live. Number six, I'm thankful for the art supplies, which I have never, blah, 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 blah. No, sorry. I'm thankful for the art supplies, which I never thought I could have. Number seven, I'm thankful to be learning to be a better housekeeper. Number eight, I'm thankful to my mom who always pushes me to be better. Number nine, I am thankful to my sister who never lets me slide. Number 10, I'm thankful to my grandma who is always ready to help. Number 11, I am thankful to my aunt who helped me get my life back on track. Number 12, I'm thankful to Marty for invaluable advice, even when I don't ask for it. Number 13, I am thankful to Francis for forcing me to work when I don't think I can. Number 14, I'm thankful to Marissa for bailing me out on my wedding day. Number 15, I'm thankful to all the men that I've called dad for teaching me to be strong. Number 16, I'm thankful to Leslie for always defending us when I can't. Number 17, I'm thankful to Jeff for being the steadfast and calm person that we need when we need it. Number 18, I'm thankful to my dog Wally for teaching me patience. Number 19, I'm thankful to my cat Xavier for teaching me how to laugh even when I'm angry. Number 20, I'm thankful to Gracie for the unconditional love and silliness she brings. Number 21, I'm thankful to my illness for making sure I can take anything. Number 22, I'm thankful to Lily for showing me her simple joys. 23, I'm thankful for my own ability to work all the time. 24, I'm thankful for my husband who shows me how to relax. In number 25, I'm thankful to the queer community and non-man solidarity group. Number 26, I'm thankful to the Ypsilanti art community for showing me all of the great things that there are in my community. Number 27, I'm thankful to the Venus Rising crew for my start in doing art as a business. 
number 28. I'm thankful to my followers and subscribers on YouTube and Instagram. Number 29. I'm thankful to my many art idols for helping pave the way. And number 30. That I am pri in a privileged place that I can do this instead of go to a normal day job. So that's what I'm thankful for this year. Um, I kind of read that really fast, but I, I don't know. Um, it's just, it's hard to, to summarize all those things that, that I like, that I think about and I, that I'm thankful for and that are important to me. It's hard to summarize all of those things into a quick little blurb, you know, like, I know it sounds weird, but when I read the part about to to the many men that I've called dad, like there's more there's more of a story to that than just saying like, yeah, I've had a lot of dads. Like no, like I've had my biological dad, I've had a stepdad and then that raised me and that I grew up with, and then I've had a stepdad who is a recent addition to our family, but has been fantastic and he's actually been involved in my family for a really long time and it's only recent that they have gotten together but I've always respected him and so there's just there's a lot of backstory behind each of those things that I'm thankful for um as I'm sure everyone has tons of things behind the scenes of what they have to say too um but that's one of the ones that really stuck out is you know being thankful for that and I know that a lot of people would look at that and be like oh you had a bunch of dads hmm but no like I, I grew up with the really fantastic opportunity to know a lot of different people and because I knew a lot of different people growing up and because a lot of different people had a hand in helping me become who I am now it means that I'm a more well-rounded person and I another funny little blurb like the the learning to pick my own battles um that has actually been like a really difficult struggle for me for a very long time because I've been a person who will fight about anything. I will fight someone about something that doesn't even matter. <laughs> um, I will fight someone just because I am angry. Um, I, I used to be the person that would do that, but I've grown a lot in the last couple of years and part of it is attributed to this weird little doodad that my mom bought me a long time ago. Um, I believe I was in high school, but I, it may have been early college. And my mom went away on some business trip and she came back with this little doodad thingy, uh, yarn doll. And it was dressed up like a little samurai and it had like a, a saying on it. And um, it was the warrior to help you learn to choose your battles more wisely. And I thought it was funny that that's what my mom chose to get for me because that's always been a struggle for me is, you know, picking my battles, deciding what I'm going to fight about and whether or not that thing is really important enough to, to go up at arms about because a lot of times it's not and I just fight about it anyway. So yeah, those are the thingies of this year. Anyway, to the actual art drawing. Um, this piece that I did here, uh, the original I did in high school. I remember sitting in my art class drawing this and I colored it with Crayola colored pencils. Um, and I layered a bunch of different colors of blues together in order to get the hair to be the color that it is. It was blues and purples and pinks and stuff and it created this cool like indigo-ish color. Um, I decided I wanted to recreate this because I always loved the color palette that I decided on for it and I don't really do anything in blues very often so I wanted to revisit that piece. Also it was kind of on my mind. I went through my sketchbooks not too long ago and I pulled out a few different things that I was like, ooh, I could redraw that, I could redraw that. And this is the one that was the top one on the stack. So I decided I wanted to redo this one. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, so for this drawing, I decided to pull out my new gouache set, which this is the, 
technically the second thing that I did with it, but this is the first thing for the channel that I've recorded for it. Um, the one that I did as a trial for myself turned out kind of ugly, so I don't really want to share it. But this one, I think, turned out really good. I was a little bit more capable of blending colors, which I think turned out well. Um, it's on an 8.5 by 11 piece of paper on watercolor paper. She will be available for sale on my Etsy shop if you want to go check it out. Etsy.com slash shop slash knitneys. And um, yeah, I've got a couple of little wintertime... Um, coupons that are up. Winter 2015 is going to get you the 10% off, but right now if you use YouTube 2015, you're going to get free shipping. So you can decide which one is a better coupon for you at this point in time. Um, and those will be good through the end of 2015. Anyway, so here is the finished drawing. Um, I'm really happy with how she turned out. So I hope you are too. Make sure to check out any of my previous videos and I will see you next time.